BYD has a good name in batteries, so you've obviously been doing it for a while. Since 1996. Wow. That is very long in battery. Yep. It is a Chinese-made battery, but from a quality point of view, I think Apple phones made in China. So we actually know that China nowadays does make very good gear. Yes, and BYD don't make any fuel car anymore. Lithium battery has a lot of advantages. Battery. Less maintenance, lasts longer, more energy density. Reliable. Cheaper. Reliable. Not cheaper, but... No, I didn't mention cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Last question I have, which is on everybody's lips. What's the story? When are battery prices coming down? You want the real answer? Present by Your Energy Answers. Leo, how long have you been in batteries? Uh, more than 10 years. Okay, yeah. so you actually know a lot, do you? Uh, I do, yes. Oh, great, great. So, because I know very little, okay? Oh, you're the expert. No, I, I know nothing. You're yes. making cars as well, is it? Yes. And they're using the BYD battery, I assume. BYD designed, BYD IP inside, yes. And for your information, BYD don't make any fuel car anymore. Completely renewable energy cars. So, but you used for a short time made fuel cars as well? or Hybrid. Or hybrid? hybrid or pure electric. But now electric only. Okay, so let's have a look at the batteries themselves. A lot of battery manufacturers then also sell a panel yep. and they sell an inverter. Yes. Are you going into this, I want to have the whole solution? Is that your future? So actually BYD does have panels. For now, we don't do inverters. We're battery professionals, so we do what we are good at. This particular box, what's the kilowatt hour capacity? This one has 15.4 kilowatt hours. It's called LVL. LV means low voltage. L means large, hence we have the low, low voltage small, which is called LVS. Per block is 4 kilowatt hours and you can stack them and then you can just expand in the future according to your needs. One of the reasons we make it modular and stackable is to reduce the weight when carrying it or for installation. So it's, it's super easy to install. You just put it on one on top of another, that's it. I'm gonna be a little bit tricky because I know from some other battery companies, they did have that theory that you can expand, mm -hmm. but then people waited seven years and ah. come back and then that model wasn't available anymore. So what do you recommend in what time frame do you expand? We don't have a time frame, just trust BYD because BYD is like the biggest EV manufacturer in the world. Right. In 2016, we have this battery called 2.5s. Customers they installed like in 2017. Nowadays, they want to expand. We still have the, uh, the old model available for expansion. So no issue. Now you have another one here in the middle. This looks quite sexy. What's the story about this baby? So HV means high voltage, M means medium. So this is a 400 volt battery. It's compatible with the Fronius, SMA, Sangro and Goodwill inverters. The combination of Fronius Simo Hybrid and Gen24 Primo Hybrid with this BYD HVM is really, really good. Why would somebody choose this one over that one or vice versa? I mean, you got two models, there must be a reason. It really depends more on the inverter side. So if it's a high voltage inverter, go with high voltage battery. No voltage inverter, low voltage battery. Now in the off-grid, in the olden days, you had a lot of lead acid. In the last three, four, five years, lithium ion has pushed the lead acid out. Is that the trend to go or what's Definitely. happening? Yeah. Definitely, because lithium battery has a lot of advantages. Less maintenance, lasts longer, more energy density. Reliable. Cheaper. Reliable. Not cheaper, but... No, I didn't mention cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I believe it's cheaper. Because, because you have it for longer and therefore lower running costs, lower maintenance costs, so all of that adds up. So while you pay a little bit more at the beginning, over the life of the system, you probably save a bit of money. I should be your marketing guy. You got the idea, right? <laughs> well, but I need to say something. What's the warranty of normal lead acid battery? Two, three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With this lithium battery, we've got 10 years warranty. If you replace your lead battery every two or three years, and you don't need to replace our battery in 10 years. So consider that difference. That's a huge gap, right? Yep, no, fair enough, you got yep. me there. I mean, these things seem to be built like a tank, the weight of a tank. What can go wrong with a lithium ion battery? Like all battery, lithium batteries dislike over discharging. Sometimes once there is a continuous raining days and use all of the battery power, turn it off. Wait until the sun comes out to recharge the system. Don't leave a flat battery, just leave it 
for a few weeks, you can die, really die. What about the temperature? I hear that over 50 degrees that the lithium batteries get a bit sweaty and they don't like it that much. What's the story with temperature and hot temperatures? Correct. Our working temperature range from minus 20 to plus 50 degrees C. So don't install in South Australia the lithium ion battery on a northern side out in the weather and then try to claim warranty because it's your fault. You should have installed it properly. You take that back. No way. It's your fault. Last question I have, which is on everybody's lips. What's the story? When are battery prices coming down? It's all regarding demand and supply. Electric vehicles, they consume most of the battery cells. Our energy storage is just like 1% or 2%. I would say we can we expect slightly uh, cost down for the batteries in two or three years, but I wouldn't say there will be a remarkable cut down on the cost. So basically, unfortunately, batteries will still cost a decent amount, but if you do the ROI on a battery together with a solar system and you use an EV and you get your saving off the EV and you put all that in your return of investment, you are actually already sitting at five or six years and I think you can't be greedy. I mean, if you double your money in the current interest rate environment, that's not a bad thing. True. Well, look, I learned a lot. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you, Leo. Nice Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.